It's an interesting career you've got, Emily, because you've got the, the kind of comedy side of it. You're now, she's now one of the celebrity captains on Celebrity Juice, which is amazing. Thank Congratulations you. on that Thank job. You. And, that, and you do it so well. And it must be so much fun. Thank you. But also, you've still got your acting career going strong as well, and it must be quite hard to keep all three going. Yeah, well, the wonderful thing about The Jungle is that it kind of just gave me this whole new lease of life in my career. And, you know, for, for years now, I, I was known as... Charlotte Big Jugs in between us. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was fine and that was fun and it was great, but I needed kind of a new medium to say the things I wanted to say. And I thought by doing The Jungle, it would show who I am a little bit more as a person. It's very easy to be kind of categorised when you do lads mags and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I guess you were getting offered the same kind of parts, weren't you? Exactly, yeah. And I, I was being typecast and that's really fun for a certain period of time, but my career had become very much about what I looked like. So I thought, what better way? When the jungle came knocking, I thought, what better way to show more who I am as a person and what more I have to offer other than that. Yeah, it was so endearing, wasn't it? And you came across so oh, well in there. And when you, you, did you watch it back when you come out? You oh, like, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Every episode. <laughs> Every single episode. And actually, I, this is such an embarrassing thing to admit, but when I'm sort of feeling a bit kind of... Um, we, and as in the industry, we all know this. It's, it's a very uncertain industry. We can all feel huge um, pangs of self-doubt and... Whenever I kind of feel like that again, I, I YouTube clips of myself in the jungle. <laughs> and I, just to remind myself who, who I really am and, and how strong I can really be. That's really lovely. Mm. Um, and who I really am as a person, because it's so easy to get bogged down in the real world, um, you know, with, with work and with the stresses of everyday life. But I have to remember, I have to go back to that point sometimes where I was then. You're so pure in there, you're stripped of everything and you become like a nine-year-old child again. Everything's magical again, everything's happy again. You, you're happy again. It was the happiest I've ever been and the strongest I'd ever been. So I, I go back to that whenever I'm kind of feeling some self-doubt. But I imagine that's something you struggled with to an extent, I would get, <laughs> Michelle, because you were seen as, you know, this beautiful young girl. And I guess it took a while for people to give you the sort of parts that would allow you to, to stretch your acting skills and show off your Yeah, I think, I think that's the reason why I did Our Girl, really. And I yeah. think a lot of the time, when I first got the role, people were doubting me straight away, she can't do that, she can't do that, it's too stripped back. And that was a chance for me to sort of you know, strip, like what you said, mm -hmm. lagged mags, you know, and just do what I wanted to do as an actress. And I, I felt very lucky that I was able to do that. When I started, people used to say they never found me funny because they never understood my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say show I didn't, hosts. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Try and crush my dreams. I knew yeah. you were funny because <laughs> everyone who could understand you was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> they would invite me on the show just to put me down. <laughs>